we have previously used the fact that the transfer function of a discrete time system is the Z-transform of its output divided by the Z-transform of its input. In this video, we derive this result. The result we want to derive is the following. Suppose we have a linear time invariant system with an input R, its dynamics described by the impulse response G, and the output signal is called Y. We have previously seen that we can calculate the output signal by calculating the convolution sum of the input and the impulse response. We want to prove that the Z transform of the output signal is the product of the Z transform of the impulse response and the Z transform of the input signal. The idea of the derivation is that we apply the definition of the Z transform to the convolution sum, which we call equation 1, and then manipulate things until we can recognize the Z transforms of the input and the impulse response. We start by writing Y of Z using the Z transform definition and then substituting the convolution sum for the output signal. We now switch the sums around and take R of J out of the inner sum since it is independent of k. We want to write the sums as z transforms, so we multiply with z to the power minus j and z to the power j. And we change the summation variable of the inner sum to be m equal to k minus j. The inner sum is now almost a z transform, but the summation goes from minus j instead of zero. However, we work with causal systems, which means that the system cannot react to an input before the input is applied. Mathematically, this is captured by writing that the impulse response is zero for negative k values. Since the summation variable j is always non-negative and therefore minus j is always non-positive and the terms for negative m will always be zero, we can start the sum from m equal to zero. The inner sum is now independent of the summation variable j of the outer sum and we can write things as the product of infinite sums. When we look at the sums we see that the left sum is the z-transform of the input signal and the right sum is the z-transform of the impulse response which is the result we want to prove. This result shows us that we can interpret the transfer function of a system in two ways as the Z transform of the system's impulse response or if we divide this result by R of Z as the Z transform of the output signal divided by the Z transform of the input signal.